A little bit ago, I made a video covering some classic cursed images and digging up the stories behind them. It was really fun to make, and the video got overwhelmingly good feedback, so we will be covering the stories behind some more classic cursed images today. But first, we have a quick message from our sponsor. This video is sponsored by Casetify. Casetify is the world's most popular tech accessory brand, providing cases that look nice and offer reliable protection. They have a huge array of different designs you can choose from, along with multiple ways to customize your case with your name to make it represent you. Here's a few cool designs I got, along with a customized scare theater case. What's interesting about these is how slim they are while still being protective. They're made with Cheap Tech 2.0 shock absorbing material, which allows the slim design to have up to 9.8 foot drop protection. I'm not just making this up, I tested it out myself here. Perfectly intact. In addition to that, Casetify follows sustainable practices, making their products from 65% recycled and plant-based material and shipping in 100% recyclable packaging. So seriously, head on over to casetify.com slash scare theater and you'll get 15% off your order with them. Now back to the video. We're going to be starting off with an oldie but a goodie. Anyone familiar with internet urban legends has probably seen this picture before. Sometimes the picture is posted just as it is here, but it is often accompanied by a creepy but not so convincing story. As the legend goes, the person in this picture is a man named Clifford Hoyt. Allegedly, in 1999, at the age of 31, he got into a horrific car accident, leaving him in a comatose state in the hospital. When he woke up, he told a nurse that he had died and visited the depths of hell. After telling the doctors of the horrors he witnessed, he refused psychological treatment and was released. A few weeks later, at his apartment complex, his neighbors complained to the landlord about loud music playing in Hoyt's apartment at all hours of the night. When the landlord went to investigate, he found Hoyt like this. He claimed that demons from hell were still trying to capture him. He played the music to scare them off, and held onto large blocks of ice to soothe his skin, which he said was burning. It is said that the doctors attributed his actions to brain damage he sustained in the car accident, and to this day, he resides in a mental facility in Maryland. There are several variations of this legend floating around. Most of them are the same, but with very minor changes to some details. Some versions say the man's name was Harry Hoyt instead of Clifford Hoyt. Other versions will say that he died in the apartment and have no mention of a mental facility. As with most urban legends, none of this is actually true, as seen by the fact that there is no reliable account of any of this actually happening. The story itself has been debunked plenty of times. Nonetheless, it's still interesting to see exactly where this famous picture actually came from. We can thank the band Vitamin Wig C for this picture. In the late 90s, an electronic band called Vitamin Wig C was formed. They produced some pretty interesting, but definitely non-mainstream music. The man in this image is one of the band's members, Josue Rivera. At one of their performances in 2009, someone snapped this picture of him being artistic, I guess, and posted it on Flickr.com. Here's another similar image taken of him at the same event. I guess someone just found this picture and decided to caption a creepy story to it. The guy who took the original picture even responded to someone who tried to attribute this picture to the Clifford Hoyt story, saying, No, this is Josue Rivera. He's not a fake story that ripped off my photo located here. This is another classic cursed image with unknown origins. This one is so bizarre that it is said that one of the mods on the Cursed Images subreddit named this the most cursed image on the sub. The earliest version of the image I was able to track down was on the Tank Memes from Site19 subreddit on March 1st, 2019, but judging from the comments I've read, the picture is much older than this. There are a lot of theories about what exactly is going on here. Some think it's a guy bathing in mud, some think it's tar, others have said it's some sort of an art piece, but no one is sure what the true answer is. I think I have a pretty good idea though. I was able to find this similar looking image on a Russian social media website. The background of the image looks pretty similar and even the wooden tub he is in looks awfully similar. In the description of the picture, the user says that he booked a sanatorium in Poland 
and while he was there, he was looking at a wall of photographs of procedures carried out there. One of the pictures he saw was of a girl sitting in a barrel of some sort of black liquid. He volunteered to give this a try. While describing his experience, he says, At the first procedure, I carefully examined and studied everything. It was not a barrel, but rather a small wooden oval tub. You sit in it, cross your legs, and the procedural nurse opens a large diameter tap from which hot liquid and thick mud with sticks, roots, and other fragments of the swamp pours enveloping your body. Unusual, pleasant, warm, you sit in the mud. I can pretty much guarantee that what we are seeing in this picture is something similar to what was just described. There are also health centers in some parts of the world where you can actually pay to take a bath in crude oil as a luxury. It's pretty okay, it's about the same temperature as a normal bath. Um, it's a bit like chocolate, I suppose, in texture. Reminds me of one of those chocolate fountains at the malls. Um, pretty warm, pretty painless. Doesn't really smell much. The pictures of people partaking in this also look somewhat similar, but the main difference being they're not in a wooden tub like the last two pictures we just looked at. There's actually another image on the Cursed Images subreddit that shows exactly this. So, looks like we found the origin of that picture as well. This one is just... weird. Looks like some kind of reveal scene in a horror movie. And why the hell is that one posing? This one was actually pretty easy to find the origin of. The original picture was posted to the WTF subreddit on August 19th, 2018 with the title, When in the Attic of a House We Were Looking At, and... Uh, according to the original poster, there was no explanation for why the mannequins were there. They were viewing the house with a real estate agent, and the seller wasn't there. As if that wasn't weird enough, there were actually more. Like, a lot more. And in case you're wondering, yes, they bought the house. This just feels like the beginning of a horror movie. Because that last one was a little too easy to find, I decided to include another quick one. The Cursed Swimming Pool. This is the look of a man who truly just doesn't care. This sort of reminds me of one of those liminal swimming pool pictures, except, you know, more filthy. This picture was actually taken in Britain in 2015, when a severe cyclone that was named Storm Desmond hit the UK and Ireland. The storm brought extreme flooding to the residents and brought brutal damage to a lot of the homes. Needless to say, it wasn't a fun time. But this 72-year-old man, Peter Clarkson, didn't let this bring down his spirit. To increase morale, he decided to go for a swim in the flood, which is when this picture was taken. I think we should all aspire to be as positive as this guy. Before this video ends, I want to let you all know that I'm starting out my Patreon page again. You guys have supported the channel for so long, and I want to have a way to better connect with you, so I decided to start doing a live stream every Friday where I'll be able to interact with you guys. During the stream, we'll be watching creepy videos, investigating some mysteries, and just chatting and playing games. For access to the live stream, you can go to patreon.com slash scaretheater and subscribe to the $5 tier. In addition to the weekly live stream, you'll also have your name listed at the end of all my videos. I look forward to interacting with all of you during my streams. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the flip side.